65 million, the number of people now fleeing hunger, poverty, climate change and war. One of the many hard facts that stunned audiences in Ai Weiwei's new documentary. Human Flow is a sweeping tour of more than 40 refugee camps in 23 countries. Much of it shot by drones. It's a fresh look at the crisis from Europe to Africa, peppered with poetry and heartbreaking stories. <laughs> The Venice Film Festival is more used to glamour than gritty documentaries, but Ai Weiwei is one of the major artists of our time and his film is a strong contender for the festival's top prize. One nice thing about it for me was that he does appear in the film, but very much as a guy who is just hanging out with the refugees rather than going in there as a Michael Moore being very pushy and trying to sort of you know, through irony or through uh, provocation, trying to get his agenda through. The sheer scale of this human problem could leave the viewer feeling helpless to make a difference, but the director says we don't have that luxury. We have to understand the situation. Uh, it, it's not really about refugees, but uh, it's about all of us. Then the solution, I think, can easily come out, but it takes individual to act, to, to be involved, to push the politicians, to, to create a, a right uh, discussion. For audiences that have been numbed to the refugee crisis, this documentary does help reframe the issue as one of mass exodus and relocation affecting most of the world. There's not much analysis, but Ai Weiwei's main point seems to be there's no sense in ignoring it, no point in Europe haggling over refugee quotas because this flow of humans is inevitable. 70 countries have now put up walls to stop migrants, another fact in the film that feels shameful when juxtaposed with desperate refugees. Amazon has bought the rights and soon people will be able to stream it online, seeing for themselves that the world is changing. Charlie Angela Al Jazeera, Venice.